Oh, beautiful Ellie. That's uh, Ellie. That seemed disturbingly natural to you. How did you feel? Not good. Not good. And girls, getting pushed down, knocked around. She took your spot. How'd you feel? Happy, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But not good. My name is Ken Will, and in breaking news this evening, a young man named Brian Robson has gone missing. For further details, we have got Charlie Henderson reporting live from the studio. Thank you, Campbell. Early this morning, a young man named Brian Robson went missing in a bush plane. The plane left Hampton Airport at 3 p.m. and all authorities believe at 5 p.m. there was a mayday call from Brian Robson saying, mayday, mayday, it's Brian Robson. The pilot had a heart attack and I don't know how to fly a plane. That's all we know and back to you in the studio, Campbell. Thank you, Charlie. And we hope that Brian gets home safely. Good evening. I'm Charlotte Murray reporting to you live from Nine News with my assistant, Ellie Sainsbury. We have some breaking news from the New York airport. I'll pass it on to Ellie with some more details. Thank you, Charlotte. Yes, unfortunately, we do have some terrible news. Earlier on today at about 10 a.m., Cessna 406 left the New York airport. At about 2.30 p.m., we lost all contact. The last thing we heard from passenger Brian Robson was help. My pilot, my pilot's had a heart attack and I can't fly a plane. terrible and horrifying for the passengers. Passenger. That's all we have time for tonight. Thank you. I'm Charlotte Murray and good night. Good evening. My name is Harry Wood and our first story is about a plane crash. Unfortunately we couldn't cont contract with the passenger's mother. But I'll pass it over to Lachlan Elliot who has all the information we know. Hi, I'm Lachlan Elliot and firstly, some people fear that this story might be living the story called the hatchet. Anyway, the plane was carried, carried two people, Brian Robinson and Jake Philippa. Um, the plane was a small bush plane called Cessna 406. They were heading to the Canadian oil fields from Hampton, New York. We also heard that Jake had a heart attack, but we fear that both Brian and Jake are dead. We have started search parties about five hours ago, but we have nothing to fear. Back to you, Harry. Well, I hope they're okay. It's time to pass over to Bob for sport. This just in, New South Wales Bob Queensland game one. Liars. Welcome to tonight's NBA news. I am Bill and joining me is Bill. Unfortunately, unfortunately we will be starting off with some breaking news, so I'll hand over to Bill. It is a very sad moment for the families of the pollen passenger of Cessna 406 bush plane. The plane took off from Rockhampton Airport, New York. The names of the pod passenger was Brian Robson and Jack Russell. They, they could hear Brian Robson on the radio saying, Mayday, Mayday, my pilot has had a heart attack. I don't know how to fly a plane. That is the last time we heard for, for, of him. I will pass it over to Bill. Thank you, Bill. We hope for Brian Robson is safe. Good evening. This is the 19th of May 2016 and I am Charlotte Harvey. For our first story, I will pass it over to Charlotte Murray. Hello. 
We had reports that a teenage boy and a middle-aged man have gone missing in a plane crash. Earlier this morning at 10 a.m., Jim Hasselson and the, the pilot and Brian Robson, the passenger, boarded the Cessna 406 heading to the Canadian oil fields. We have, the pilot had a heart attack leaving the small boy to fly the plane. We have sent search parties out to find the boy and the pilot. I, have, I will pass it over to Charlotte Harvey. Thank you, Charlotte. We, we wish the best of luck to the boy and the pilot. Welcome to Prime 7 News at 4 p.m. on Thursday, 19th of May. I will now hand over to Fletcher to talk about a plane crash. Good evening. My name is Fletcher Pennell. I'm talking to you about a plane crash with a teenager boy. His name is Brian Robinson and a pilot whose name is Jake. They left at Hampton, New York and going to Canada. Now I'll hand over to Clark. We believe the plane was around here when they left. They were heading to the Canadian oil fields up here, but we, when the pilot had a heart attack, we think that Brian was landed around here. We hope again, Thanks for that, Fletcher. We hope they, they, they're okay. And best for luck to family and members. Good evening on Thursday, 19th of May. My name is Ryan Schumann. We are going to talk about the hatchet. I'm going to Liam Amon talk through the facts about the missing plane. The plane, Cessna 406, bush plane, leaving from Hampton, New York, going to the Canadian oil fields. The pilot, Jake Waltham and Brian Robson. We received a distress call from Brian Robson that the pilot had had a heart attack and Brian can't fly a plane. Search authorities have been deployed. Back to you, Ron. I hope their family is okay. That is all for tonight. Cessna 406 bush plane go missing from Hampton, New York airplane at 4.26 p.m. And at 7.01 we had a report that Jake the pilot has had a heart attack and the passenger named Brian Robson, age 13, does not know how to fly the plane. And we have four search parties looking for them. We have reports that the plane has crashed and I'll hand back to Jake. Thank you. That is a tragic story. Hope you find them soon. This is all for 7 years. Good evening, my name is Monique Collett. Welcome to Never Die News at 7. Today is Friday the 23rd of May 2016. For our first story, I'll pass over to my awesome partner, Ava Mitchell, to tell us the breaking news. Thank you for that, Monique. There was a plane, the Cessna 406, leaving Hampton, New York at 12 o'clock, going to the Canadian oil fields. There were two passengers. The pilot, Jim McKenzie, had a heart attack in the Passenger Brian does not know how to fly the plane. There are four rescue teams on search for the Cessna 406 that have been lost. I'll pass back on to Geeky Nikki for our final comment. Thanks for the breaking news. I wish you the best to Brian and Jim. Thank you, and we will see you next time. Hello, girl. Welcome to Prime 7. Tonight, Lucy will talk to you about Brian and the missing plane. Now I will pass over to Lucy. Hello, my name is Lucy and I will be talking about Brian and the missing plane. Late last night we lost contact with the Cessna 406, a type of bush plane. It was heading from Hampton, New York to the Canadian oil fields. Just before we lost contact, Brian said, help. The pilot, Jake, has had a heart attack and I can't fly a plane. Tomorrow morning they're sending some searches and they will look all day tomorrow. Now I will pass back to Abby. Thank you, Lucy. That was a great report. I hope they find them soon. See you next time on Prime 7 News.
Hello and welcome. It is the 23rd of May 2016 and my name is Gemini Yim. We have just received a call for help and we are trying to find where they are, but no sign yet. The pilot is Jacob Geller and the passenger is Brian Robson. They are travelling in a Cessna 406 and they took off in Hampton, New York and were planning to land in the Canadian oil fields. But somewhere along the way, the pilot had had a heart attack and we believe he is dead. The bad thing is that Brian can't fly and we don't know what he's going to do. We have sent out search planes and other search parties. We all hope for the best for the families and friends. Goodbye and good night. Good evening. My name is Karen Mitchell. I am here with my partner, Jess Plowman. It is the 23rd of May, 2016. I am going to pass over to Jess so she can give the latest news of the plane crash. Thank you, Kelly. The bush plane Cessna 406 is reported missing. It was flying at a boy named Brian Robson and the pilot, Jim Smith. The last anyone heard from Brian was via radio. He said he could not fly a plane and that the pilot had had a heart attack. After that, they lost contact with Brian. He was also reported flying from Hampton, New York to the Canadian oil field. I hope, Bri I hope Brian Robson is still alive, but in my opinion, he's been eaten by a bear. I will now hand over to Kelly. Thank you, Jess. We hope we hear from Brian again if he hasn't been eaten by a bear. That's all for today.